It's literally zero degrees this morning, so I have all of the faucets running so the pipes don't burst. Literally zero degrees, I'm not joking. I'm not very confident in my abilities to survive this walk outside, but here we go. Off to yoga. Lucia, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be a work week in my life. I'm working from home today. Don't get confused with me being all dressed up. I was just feeling it and I have some video camera on calls today, so I figured I might as well look the part. Sorry if you can hear my shower faucet going. I know it's kind of loud. It sounds like someone's peeing in the background, but it's just my shower faucet going on because it's literally zero degrees outside. I went to yoga this morning. Honestly, the walk there wasn't that bad. I just really bundled up and I was just so excited to move because I literally haven't worked out in basically a week because I was going out of town for the ski trip. I mean, I guess skiing is working out, but you know what I mean. I feel like I'm finally getting back into a routine today. It's actually Tuesday. I'm starting this on a Tuesday because yesterday I was literally just way too tired to speak from traveling, but we are back at it. Also, if you're new here, hi, I'm Lucia. I'm 23. I live in Chicago and I work a nine to five in marketing and I usually work from home. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be going into the office this week because I was in the office a lot last week. But I am so excited you're here and watching. Reminder that I'm having a giveaway for 10K subscribers. Thank you again, by the way. I'm so excited. I'll put the details of the giveaway in the description of this video. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a little bit of makeup. I'm grabbing dinner with a friend tonight at Small Shiva in Old Town, actually. So I figured I would just get ready for that now and just be ready for after work so I don't have to get ready two separate times since I wanna look a little bit more put together today. And it actually works out because I haven't been grocery shopping yet. So I'm so glad I'm eating dinner out but I am gonna go grocery shopping tomorrow because for lunch today I have no idea what I'm gonna end up making. <laughs> today is actually January 31st so it's the last day of the month so tomorrow February 1st I like love the start of new months I love just like resetting my goals and everything if you watched my vision board video you already know my goals for 2023 but I broke those down into goals for January so I'm gonna kind of go through them tomorrow and see if I can make a plan to do the goals better see what I ended up accomplishing and all of that I just love reflecting and Journaling. So I'm doing that tomorrow. I know for sure one of the goals I haven't met is getting 10,000 steps every day and you best believe tomorrow We are starting getting the 10,000 steps every day. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it I also have an influencer event tomorrow at the Museum of Ice Cream So I'm really excited about that I feel like I've been actually making an effort to be a bit more social and it's working out for me So I'm feeling good. I was just listening to SZA actually because I think later this month my friend Ariana and I are gonna go to the SZA concert and I could not be more excited for that I'm obsessed with her new album. I always liked her music, but I was never like super obsessed with it But her new album is so good gonna finish my makeup now done with my makeup this is the look i was gonna straighten my hair but then i just kind of thought why not embrace the wavy look it's probably gonna get messed up because it's zero degrees outside <laughs> later anyway with all of my winter gear so i figured i'll just leave it like this i am gonna put some earrings on though and then i'll show you guys the final look everything is from princess polly and as usual i'll link everything down below i love these pants and they're so comfortable let's take on the work day hi how are you My first call went very, very well. I'm super hungry, but again, I have no groceries. So I'm gonna have this RX bar, and then I think I'm gonna make some almond butter toast. This is what I get for not going to the grocery store.
Okay, I'm good. Work is basically over. I just have a few things to finish up. I took a break to go pick up some packages because they were like, must pick up immediately or they will be gone. And I picked up an Amazon package. I don't remember what I ordered, so we'll see. But I also had to pick up a package for Vicente. And <laughs> obviously I just, you know, naturally saw who it was from. And it's from a jewelry store. And Valentine's Day is coming up. So I'm getting excited. <laughs> That's like one of the things about moving in with your significant other is that it's so hard to hide gifts from them. One time he accidentally left the receipt out for my anniversary gift on the kitchen island And I, I just saw it because I was like, oh, what's this? So it's really hard to like hide things Honestly, I'm I'm pretty good at it and I also just order more stuff with him So I feel like he's not really like looking into if it's a gift, but <laughs> I just texted him and I was like jewelry store question mark eye emoji <laughs> Let's see what this is though. Oh, I got more eye patches. This is great I ran out of them and I'm obsessed with these eye patches That's like one of my most common asked questions because I feel like I've made eye patches a part of my personality trait is what eye patches I use. These are linked on my Amazon storefront. I'll also link them separately below. I love them. This package came kind of destroyed though. Something must have happened in the mail. I'm gonna finish up the work day and then in about 30 minutes, I'm going to run over to Old Town to meet a friend for a dinner at Small Cheval. There's actually a Small Cheval in Wicker Park, but she lives in Lincoln Park, so Old Town is just closer. I'm very, very hungry, so I'm gonna be eating well tonight. So let's hit it. I should have worn thicker pants. I'm literally so cold. Also, she said that Small Cheval doesn't have out, or they don't have indoor seating. It's just outdoor and it's way too freezing for that. So she's already there and she's gonna see if she can find a different place. All right, we're actually gonna go to Broken English. I've been there before. They have really good tacos. So cold. Oh my gosh, that was literally freezing. I had to walk 10 minutes back here from the bus, but we made it. Note to self, if I wear these pants again in the winter, I need to wear some leggings underneath them. I literally had so much fun at dinner. It was a nice, quick, like hour-ish vibe, a little catch up. And we ended up going to Broken English and it was good. I've been there before. I got their carnivas tacos. It was such a good deal. It was $9 for two tacos, like with tax and tip. I think it was about $13. Honestly, such a good deal for a little sit down dinner on a weeknight, especially because I did not feel like cooking. I love like quick little dinners like that. I feel like a lot of times when I'm hanging out with people I feel like it has to be this whole thing we have this whole outing We go to brunch then we walk in the park or like we do a whole concert or something just super planned But it's fun just doing like a quick little dinner just catch up It doesn't have to be like, super duper long. So yeah, that was really fun I'm starting to make new friends you guys I'm sticking to my goals which reminds me January reflection coming tomorrow ah! My skin is not doing so hot though. I was really lazy last night and I didn't refill the water in my humidifier and I didn't have water in it the night before. I was on vacation. I didn't have a humidifier. So I haven't had a humidifier going in solid like five, six days, I feel like. And honestly, it's a good test for my skin because I feel like I can really, really tell the difference. My, like, my skin is breaking out and I feel like it's because I didn't have my humidifier on. So I learned my lesson. I'm definitely going to refill it before I go to bed. But yeah, just going to take off my makeup makeup and I honestly have no idea what I'm gonna do tonight probably just edit some videos and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow good morning it's Wednesday happy hump day I am super duper tired this morning I just had an early morning call now I'm about to head out the door for yoga I'm like blind right now I need to put on my contacts I'm actually doing bar today I like to alternate between vinyasa flow and bar it's also February 1st which is really exciting. This is a short month though. So I feel like a little bit overwhelming. I'm like, I wanna do so much this month, but I'm happy to be starting the month with a workout. I also have an event tonight, which is gonna be super fun. I have so much laundry I need to catch up on, but this is my yoga fit. Full fit is Lululemon. I'm such a basic bitch right now. Honestly, like I'm obsessed with the sports bra. These pants, they have pockets, which if you know, you know, it's amazing. And then my scuba neck hoodie that I'm obsessed with. Mini Uggs, Nike socks from Urban Outfitters, Hydro Flask, <laughs> yoga.
yoga mat. This is like a Lucia starter pack right now. Today is a lot less cold, which is beautiful. It's 12 degrees. I have such a low bar for what's cold. And it's sunny, which honestly is amazing. If it was cloudy and 12 degrees, I think I would be dying. But the fact that it's sunny gives me some hope. And for work today, I have two more calls, just like general like touch base internal calls. So that should be pretty chill. But I have a lot of heads down work to get done and I have an event tonight. So I have a lot of crowns to cover. Just a lot of sort of back end analysis on my end and a lot of emails to catch up on. So that's the agenda for today. Let's hit it with a workout. Hopefully it wakes me up a little bit more. <sighs> I'm so hangry. I just got back from the grocery store. Started to break a little bit of a sweat, honestly, outside, even though it's 12 degrees. So imagine that. I literally need food in my body ASAP. It's like 1 p.m. and I have not had lunch yet. And I am so hungry. But I finally had a break between my meetings. I'm actually done for all of my meetings for the day. So I went to Olivia's Market in Wicker Park just because I don't really love the produce at Aldi and Olivia's has better gluten-free, dairy-free options. It is literally so expensive. I'm about to show you my grocery haul and you will not believe that I got all of this for $92. <gasps> this is like half a week's of groceries for one person and it was so expensive. It was just like the little things, like I noticed everything was kind of like one to two dollars more than I normally use at like Trader Joe's or Aldi and that stuff adds up. So I got Bonza. I love Bonza. I rave about Bonza. It's so good. It's pasta made from chickpeas, really filling, almond milk, classic, some bananas, some Dea cheddar cheese. I actually haven't tried this yet, but I think I'm going to use it for my quesadillas. I got some Rouse marinara sauce. So I'm gonna pair with this bonza. Hopefully my boyfriend and I are gonna make that together maybe tomorrow. I know he's feeling under the weather, so I feel like some good hearty pasta would be good. Two turmeric shots. Oh, and I was so excited to find this, even though it was like literally $12. It's a Dea gluten-free and dairy-free and vegan cheese pizza. Or no, it has like fake pepperoni on it. Who knows what that even is, but I'm really excited to try this. Bagels, they didn't have everything bagels, but it's from this brand Char. Borgo macro bars. I got new flavors, so excited to try those. Salami, I use this for sandwiches. And I got like five avocados because I have been missing my avocados the past couple days. I use them, sandwiches, bagels, you guys know. I love my avocados. All right, cool. I'm so tired. I'm going to make myself a sandwich and then eat that then hydrate, run to Absento, get a nice double shot cappuccino because I really need the energy. And then we're gonna crank out the rest of the work day here because I just do not feel like going to a coffee shop. I just need some really good coffee. And I still haven't figured out my perfect coffee recipe or my perfect matcha recipe to make in home. So maybe that should be one of my goals for February when I write all of that out. But okay, we got a lot to do in 30 minutes so I can get back from my lunch break. So let's hit it. <laughs> apartment minutes to spare ready for my first sip of coffee cheers you guys i'm feeling so much better it's amazing what lunch can do to your body fueling me for the rest of the day so good i feel like a new person so i'm going to take advantage of this energy spurt i'm having and finish up the work day we got this guys let's do it the work day is over i have 20 minutes to get ready for the night which if you know me i take forever to get ready so this is gonna be a challenge but i got this i need to call my uber in 20 minutes i'm going to an influencer event at the museum of ice cream it's museum of ice cream x kendra scott i think it's kind of in theme for valentine's day because the the Museum of Ice Cream, I've been to a few events there and basically their whole thing is that their entire exhibit is so pink. So I want to wear a really fun pink outfit and I actually just got in some new stuff from Princess Polly so I think I have an outfit in mind. But yeah, I'm taking one of my coworkers as a plus one and I'm 
so excited because I haven't seen her in so long so it's gonna be really nice to catch up we were gonna get a happy hour and then I got invited to this event and I was like why don't we just go get some free cocktails at this thing it seems cool so that's the plan oh and it's February 1st so my dry January is officially over which is also exciting honestly probably could go without drinking tonight but if you guys don't remember I'm doing Accutane I start two weeks from today so I figured since I'm not gonna be drinking for a while, it might be fun just to let loose a bit tonight. Today was actually a super duper productive work day, so I'm feeling good. I'm kind of on that post-work high of feeling super accomplished from the day. Oh my God, I did not realize how pink that was. All right, I'm gonna get ready super duper fast. We got this. I did it, you guys. I got ready. The outfit is a little bit thrown together, but I honestly kind of like it. I think I'm gonna wear the earmuffs because I did my hair in a slicked back ponytail. And I kind of just like how the earmuffs look. This is like really cute. Top is Princess Polly, skirt is Princess Polly. Look at tights are express. I kind of ripped them in the process of getting ready, but I don't have an alternative pair. So unfortunately it's just gonna have to look like that. These are my platform boots from Steve Madden. First is Stowad and I'm ready to go. I need to call my Uber. Moment of truth for how expensive it is. Oh my God, okay, not bad at all. $15, let's do it. Hopefully it gets me there on I'm so excited. I need to brush my teeth before I go though. Okay, I actually decided to put my hair down and change out my bra. I feel like I need to invest in better bras because I really feel like fashion starts from the ground up and my bras just like don't fit me right. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that. I feel like it's so hard to figure out what exact size you are. So maybe I'll make that one of my goals for February is trying to invest in better bras that actually look good on me. So this is the final look. Let's hit it. I'm back from the event. It was so much fun. Wait, I have to open up my goodie bag. I haven't opened it up yet. I had my first tequila <laughs> since dry January. It was great. It was actually really good. It was like a tequila sunrise with ice cream in it. I literally had so many sweets today, probably more than I've had in my entire life. They just had ice cream on ice cream on ice cream. I tried this Mexican hot chocolate ice cream that was super duper spicy. I honestly could not handle it. And then they had this like whipped cream sundae with gluten-free cereal and oh my God, it was just so good. They had this cherry dipped chocolate ice cream, cotton candy. I was like on cloud nine. And then they sent us home with these goodie bags. Let's see what's in it. Ooh, cherry socks. These are cute. Honestly, I feel like Vicente might like these. I feel like he's really big on wearing the colorful socks. A little label pin, cute. I love this bag. I'm gonna use this for something. And then this is what Kendra Scott gave us. I don't know if I have anything else Kendra Scott. I feel like I probably do from like high school or something. I feel like it was really big in Louisiana. Pretty, honestly, this would look so good with this outfit. Perfect for Valentine's. Day. It's a little heart necklace. Thank you, Kendra Scott. And museum of ice cream. I had an amazing time. Sente brought us fried rice again. <laughs> this is gonna be like a running bit, but I'm excited to eat her. I think I'm gonna have some liquid IV just to rehydrate myself from the cocktail. <laughs> I'm so dramatic. And then I think I'm finally gonna do my February reset reflection. So let's do it. Hey guys, it's Thursday. The week has honestly really flown by. I ended up doing my goals last night, so I thought I would share those with you. Today so far has been a pretty good work day. I had a couple internal calls that were just routine checkups. And then I had a client call, like a very spontaneous client call, and it actually went super well. So that always feels great. But I wanted to share with you guys my goals for February, just because I thought it would be fun. If you saw my vision boarding video, you know that I use Notion. I love Notion. My goals for February. One is to walk 10,000 steps every day. I know I said that I was gonna do that yesterday. Actually, let me see how many steps I ended up getting yesterday. Oh my gosh, it's 32 degrees. When did it get so warm? Not me thinking 32 degrees is warm, but it's been freezing this week, so. Okay, yesterday I had 4,000 steps, plus my workout, but I know I'm just basing it off of the actual steps, so not my workout. So, okay, Monday I did not leave my apartment, and it says I have 159 steps. I'm sure it was more than that because I'm not carrying my phone all around my apartment, but it's okay. I, I, need, to, I need to stick to this goal. If anyone has any tips on how to stick to this goal, let me know, but you will hold me accountable. 
I'm gonna do this. Walk 10,000 steps every day, fix my iPhone camera. So my phone camera has been cracked like this. I don't know if you can see for almost a year now. I don't know if you can see, but like this sensor right here has a huge crack in it because this entire side of my iPhone is just completely shattered. And the sensor honestly really affects when I take pictures, especially in night mode. Like the quality is just not as good. Sometimes it gets really out of focus and literally I'm taking pictures and vlogging all day. So it really makes that hard and I want to finally get this fixed because I've been putting it off for like a year now which is not good. Next is to handle all of my taxes. So being a creator for brand deals, you basically have to pay the taxes back. Like it's not taken out of your paycheck from brand deals, from brands. So I basically have to like organize all of that. Next one is a fun one. So I don't know if I mentioned this, but for Christmas, my boyfriend got me a ticket to Bonnaroo. So we're gonna go together. It's basically this camping music festival in Tennessee and it's in June. I'm so excited, but I kind of already wanna like prep for it in terms of like listening to the lineup because we got tickets before we knew what the lineup was and the lineup is really good but they're not necessarily artists that I like listen to every single day so I want to make an intentional point to listen to the Bonnaroo artists. Next is Finish the Defining Decade. That's the book I started reading. I'm already 33% of the way done so I think I can do it. I'm hoping to finish that this weekend honestly. Next is after that to read a fiction book. So I kind of decided that I want to alternate between reading a non-fiction like self-help type book and then a fiction book so that I'm not getting like burned out by just reading self-help and that like I'm still having fun reading fiction. So that's my plan. If you have any fiction book recommendations, please comment and let me know. I think I want to read a Colleen Hooper book next. It ends with us or one of those in that series. Oh, and then I also have like social media based goals. So I want to do 15k YouTube subscribers, 5k Instagram followers, and 65k TikTok followers. But we'll see. Those are just like motivational type goals. So yeah, I can't believe it's February and already the second day of February. I honestly am kind of hitting an afternoon Salam. And I know I probably should go to a coffee shop, but I just like don't feel like leaving. Also, Vicente is sick, so he's like in the room. He's like feeling better now, but that energy is rubbing off on me a little bit. And I'm like, I just want to like curl up and watch TV, but I have more work I have to do. It might be a work from couch for the rest of the day. <laughs> we have those days. Just made my vegan quesadillas for dinner. This is like my favorite meal in the world. <laughs> I'm obsessed. I was just watching the toast where they interviewed the two Taylor Lautners. Taylor Lautner married a girl named Taylor. So there's two Taylor Lautners now. It was really interesting. I honestly hadn't thought about Taylor Lautner in so long, but it's cool to see him thriving. Gonna watch something. Gonna see if my boyfriend actually wants to watch some Emily in Paris while I eat dinner. Then after that, I'm gonna read my book, The Defining Decade. I have been looking forward to this all day. Bon appetit. Happy Friday. All right, I need to head out in a second because I actually have the morning off because I'm going to the celiac doctor, but I want to send out the status report for our campaigns before I go, just so everyone is on the right track for the day. It's also zero degrees again today, so not ideal, but it's Friday, and I think that Sente and I are gonna go out to dinner tonight for his belated birthday dinner. Everything is loading really fast today, which is great. Sometimes in the morning, Google Sheets takes forever to load and it's so annoying. The universe is on my side today. They know I have to go to the doctor. Okay, I'm all bundled up. I packed a tote bag with my Kindle, my ID, headphones, and I think that's all I need. Let me look up the train times. My doctor's office is in Streeterville, which is honestly just the hardest neighborhood to get to because they have no public transit really. I'm gonna treat myself to Ralph's though after because that's really close-ish. And I haven't tried their coffee yet. Well, I've tried it in New York, but not Chicago. Okay, there's a bunch of trains coming, so I'm just gonna go and try to catch one of those and let's hit the doctor's office back from my doctor's appointment just eating a little bit of a go macro bar before i go to a mini burn workout class it's like 30 minutes so i'm just doing that in my lunch break i had the whole morning off work for my doctor's appointment but it got done a little bit early so i stopped by ralph's and had a little main character moment reading my book such a great book i definitely recommend and now we're gonna get a little burn in i've never tried this 30 minute style class before i feel like it's gonna be good because i mentioned cardio is like not the best for my body i prefer low impact workout and this is like a 30 minute cardio class as opposed to an hour long cardio class. So I'm really excited to try it. Let's go work out. Oh, I'm alive, but I'm dead. That's how I feel right now. That was a tough class, but honestly so much more tolerable than the longer ones. Feeling good about that. I love starting the weekend with a cardio class. Just 
something about it. But yeah, I realized I never really updated you guys on my doctor's appointment, but basically I've still been having some like GI symptoms and I went to the celiac doctor, which if you saw my celiac disease story video, it's important to have an annual checkup with a celiac doctor if you have celiac, especially since I've been having some symptoms. And basically she had me do a blood test to see if I'm currently like have the antibodies for celiac or not. So if I get positive, then it means that I've had like a gluten contaminated diet. And if it's negative, then it means that there's probably some other issue going on. So honestly, hopefully it's positive because then I can just kind of fix my diet. But she was basically saying that there's a lot of new gluten-free options these days, but a lot of them are wrongfully labeled by companies that are selling the products. So basically that could be a reason that my diet has been gluten contaminated and I'm still experiencing symptoms which is honestly just so frustrating. So updates to come on that. When I hear news like that, it just makes me not think too highly of humanity, even though I know like there's so much good in the world, but I'm just like, why are people mislabeling their products? It's really not that hard. And whoever is at the top making that decision knows that mislabeling products can really affect a person's health. So it just really frustrates me and I have no idea how to fix it or how to even tell it's actually gluten free. All right, I'm gonna hop in the shower, wash my hair and let it air dry. It looks like we're not gonna be going to Rosemary tonight for dinner, so we'll see what we end up eating. I took a shower, ate lunch and have just been working. I feel so much better and I'm really content with the fact that tonight is gonna be a Friday night in. I think it's gonna actually be super nice. It's honestly gonna be the chillest weekend and I feel like that's just kind of the energy I need. I just have a few more things to finish before logging off. I put some ice in my Ralph's cappuccino so I can have an iced coffee now. I think I'm just on a post cardio high. I feel like every time I do any sort of cardio, I just feel amazing afterwards. Oh wait, I'm so curious. I wanted to ask you guys if any of you are Chiefs or Eagles fans. If you didn't know, those are the teams that made the Super Bowl this year. When I'm posting this video, the Super Bowl will be a week from today and I have no idea who to cheer for. So let me know who you think I should cheer for. I really wanted the Bengals to make it because I really like Joe Burrow because he played for LSU. But I mean, to be honest, I really don't keep up that much with football. I just kind of watch it whenever my boyfriend's watching it. And like, I love watching games, especially in person. I just think that's so much fun, but I'm not like the biggest, you know, football fan. I like my teams and I like watching them, but not, not every weekend. It's 6 p.m. Officially logged off of work and the apartment is a bit of a mess. I've been neglecting it a bit this week. So we're going to do a speak clean to start off the weekend with a clean, fresh apartment. I'm going to pick everything up, probably do some sweeping, wiping down and it's gonna feel great. Ooh, I'm gonna pop on the toast because I haven't listened to it yet today. Also, I have this Winter Wonderland Christmas candle from Target on because it's almost out and obviously the holidays are way over, but I just wanna finish it. Okay, we're doing takeout for dinner. I'm gonna order from Lou's and Vicente really wants to get this glutinous pizza at this other place in Whittier Park. Fun fact, I used to work at Lou's, so I think eating their pizza every day during the pandemic trained my body to like their pizza so much that whenever I crave pizza, I crave Lou's. Hi, pick up please. Lucia, L-U-C-I-A. Could I please have a gluten-free deep dish pizza with sausage, green pepper, and onion? Uh, what size? The gluten-free deep dish, doesn't it only come in one size? I think so, yeah, I think you're right. Total is $30.31, and it will be ready at 6.58 p.m. Okay, perfect, thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, $30 for pizza. What is this? Pizza haul. Vicente went to... Holy G. Bon appetito. Whoa, those are some big slices. Looks good. The big reveal. I got a gluten-free deep dish. This is like honestly one of the only places in Chicago that has gluten-free deep dish. So PSA. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Love Island UK is now streaming on Hulu for people in the US. 
us. What season is it now? Nine? But the games begin. Had a super chill night. I feel like the new season of Love Island is honestly going to be really good. It's like not even 10 p.m. and I'm getting ready for bed and it's a Friday. Kind of in my grandma era. To be fair, we did have plans. We were going to go to Rosemary and then go to this birthday party. But since he's recovering from being sick, I also have a pretty eventful week next week. Subscribe so you don't miss it. I'm doing a work week in my life vlog for the entire month of February and honestly I might just start doing these like all the time because it's my most requested video. Yeah I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me this week. I really enjoyed catching up with you guys. If you did like this video please give it a thumbs up. Oh also reminder about my giveaway details down below but basically to enter just subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram and comment a white heart emoji on one of my recent photos and you'll be entered in to win a $10 Starbucks gift card. I'll be picking two winners. Yay! I will catch up with you guys in my next video. Bye!